So this is footage of a commission that I was working on recently, which takes place on a pirate ship, and this cat is resting in the sun while they sail across a tropical ocean. I love commissions like this because it's so much more than just drawing a cat on a white background, right? It allows me to try things that I'm not experienced in, and in this case is ocean. There's something kind of ironic with my struggle with painting water using water media. If this was an oil painting, <laughs> it would be so much easier, I think. But it's not. It's watercolor. And watercolor is painted backwards from light to dark instead of dark to light. And it's a lot easier to add color than it is to subtract color. So going into a painting like this requires a lot of planning. And if I was wise, I could have done a little practice, but I guess I thought this was going to work. I guess in the first attempt, I decided to use masking fluid to mask all the places that I thought I wanted to leave white. Because I personally greatly prefer the white of the paper to serve as the white. It looks less flat looking, more glowy. There are a few things that set me up for failure on this, and one of them is um, a lot of the references, particularly for color, were based f on video game screenshots, and video games are intentionally fady, outy, misty looking, so that it doesn't have to load so much um, in the system. And I didn't really have enough references to explain what it actually looks like to see an ocean go out into the distance. Tropical ocean, I mean. With like reflections of clouds and whatnot, from water sparkles, things like that. So my first attempt I didn't really have much to work with, and I was also using a lot of water. I was expecting a lot from this paper. It's, it feels slightly different from the first pack that I bought. I noticed the surface was getting a little bit damaged in the process. It wasn't going on as smoothly as I was expecting. And when I got to the part where I thought that I was home free, when I took off the masking fluid, I wasn't really left with anything good. There's something about water splashes that seem unidentifiable when you're close up on them and painting them. And this whole thing just didn't look like ocean to me. It just didn't look right. It's not terrible. And this was not it. And so unfortunately, I had to start over. I do realize that when I try to use masking fluid, I have some kind of expectation of it working a specific way or I don't know. I tend to use it the most when I'm unsure of what I'm really doing, where I'm just not confident enough to preserve paper on my own, um, that I'm going to get confused, I don't have a plan. So I put aside the masking fluid and let go of my resistance to using white paint on top of watercolor. And I went with more of a bottom of the pool lighting effect, in which I start with a varied, um, lighter layer of color, and then after that layer dries, I add some rounded shapes, tessellated with each other, where some of the lines don't quite connect and some of them do, creating a bit of a web shape as if you took a little foam net wrapper off of a soft pear at the grocery store and stretched it out kind of look up and over places where the water is moving to make it look like waves. Painting little dashes of darker color. It's quite simple, but it does work pretty okay. And then I go in with the white paint after to add more of like the splashes and these cute little sparkly dots. Places where the light catches, but also little bubbles in the water. I tried adding a little bit of that in the background because of the way water does sparkle, but because the sun is so high in the sky, it felt like it was just too much. It didn't look right, it didn't look real, so I ended up painting over a lot of those. Keeping it really light around the sandbank little island there to make it look transparent, like you can see the sand inside the water. For me, the trickiest part was trying to remember a cloud reflections <laughs> and trying to maintain the lighter areas for the clouds. I think it worked okay. 
and a deeper blue as it goes way in the back. Reflections of the nearer islands reflecting as like a dark shadow shape. And the further away the islands go, the more um, sky blue I made them, the more they blend into the sky. Just like in real life. And if I was just doing this painting for myself, I might have just stuck with my first ocean attempt because it wasn't like the worst thing out there. But I'm really glad that I tried this just a slightly different way, a different process. Because I think this one looks way more interesting, way more exciting, just prettier, you know? And I couldn't find too many watercolor ocean tutorials on YouTube. And the ones that I did find were very abstract. So I wanted to put this one out there in case someone is also struggling with water like I was. I'm so happy to have been able to do this commission. Thank you for subscribing. I put out a new art related video every Thursday. I also sell original art, sketchbooks, really nice prints, handmade calendars, pet commissions, and even some one-of-a-kind wearable art jewelry. I also have a sketchbook club on Patreon, where we fill our sketchbooks according to a theme, and some tiers even get original sketches mailed to them. 